Okay, everybody, this is the iStan Infinite, which has three iStan jacks in a single loader. There's the tip of the introducer, which protects the troll car, allows us to enter into the anterior chamber. What's cool, this actually has an auto-retracting tip. So as you enter through the clear corner of the wound into the anterior chamber, that rubbery material will allow it to automatically retract back. And it also blocks an egress of viscoelastic to keep the chamber, I think, more stable. Now the body of the device has a black button, which is what you press to introduce the distance into the Schlem's canal. And that little purple button is actually called the singulator. So it prepares the next stent. After you press the first black button, it prepares the next stent in position. And again, there's that retracting sleeve, automatically retracts, exposing the troll car, which is what we've used to introduce this stent. All right, let's take a look at the actual video. So here we are now entering the eye, and we're going to enter straight across our first stent here, like, a, like an eye stent inject, normal W. You press hold it and come back. What's cool about the eye stent infinite is it doesn't kind of have a jackhammer, like, like a hammer pushing it in. It actually, it actually pushes it and keeps constant contact with the stent, which I find has less chance of the stent bouncing back into the anterior chamber. Now, after you put the first two stents, I actually kind of move my scope and move my chair a little bit so I can get to that furthest right stent as well. So you want to try to get about two o'clock hours away. I'm not quite two o'clock hours away from each other here, but you try to be two o'clock hours between each stent. Again, the idea is to maximize the exposure and the contact with the collector channels as much as possible. Now look at the entire nasal angle here. Actually, about almost like really more than 180 degrees, we see significant blanching, which is pretty cool. And the idea, again, is we're hedging our bets. We don't know where the collector channels are. Are, right? We do know from data that the collector channels are distributed mostly in the nasal angle, but they're actually 360 degrees. Number two is that there may be areas of collapse. And so that's kind of why we want to have those three stents to give us the best chance of accessing the collector system. I uh, hope that helped. Thank you so much.